Okay, I've had some lunch, and let's see if we can figure out whether we need to talk to the resistance officer or Kryl. I feel like... I feel like it's our choice whether we... Uh, whether we pick one or the other. Once more, the realm is faced with great peril, as are the Scions, whose link to the source grows woefully thin. To which plight will you turn your attention first? Well, let's... let's talk to the Resistance Officer, I suppose. This feels like an optional quest, but perhaps we have to do them both regardless. The Resistance and Alliance forces prepare in earnest as a new threat looms on the horizon. Ah, Tiaf, glad you could make it. As you may have heard, Commander Alden has given orders to embark from Alliance Headquarters to hold back the advance of the Empire's latest Ed Menace. Commander Alden, as you know, is actually Raubon. You may know him better as Raubon. We keep calling him Commander Alden, which is a name that is wholly unfamiliar to you, but we're actually talking about Raubon. Not that the soldiers stationed there are too chuffed about being on the front lines against these new weapons. If they're designed to slay primals, they'd make short work of us mere mortals as well. Mind you, it's Gaius Balezar and his followers who've led the charge so far. By all accounts, they've been giving as good as they get. Unfortunately, their stories have met with little success. Their sorties have met with little success. I dare say they'd benefit greatly from your presence on the battlefield. If you're ready, my colleague over at Porta Praetoria will show you the way. Show me the way. He was told to wait for you at the foot of the long set of stairs. I imagine he's milling about at the camp, trying not to step in any chocobo shite. Well, you have a high opinion of your colleague, I see. Well, Kryle, I suppose you'll have to wait. I suppose the Archons will have to wait. Uh, let's see. So, uh, I imagine this is just going to unlock a dungeon or something. And then... I assume that we will not be able to do this dungeon with our... with our crew of, uh, regulars. Because our crew of trust companions are way over in the other world. Which would be kind of a bummer. Hey everybody, how's it going? I wonder how many soldiers survived thanks to those brave kids. Those brave birds. I think they deserve extra feed rations for a moon or two, don't you? What brave birds? This brave bird looks dead. No, he's just sleeping. Alright, resistance fighter, what's going on? On your way to headquarters, I take it? Uh, yes, let's go to headquarters. Uh-oh. This looks like... Oh, there's the Gimlet Dark. Wow, it's the the first time I'm seeing this Gimlet Dark. Hello everyone, Valdelin. To be honest, we weren't sure if you'd ever show up. I for one am glad you've decided to throw in your lot with us. Gaius says you are our best hope of defeating that abomination. We have seen only a glimpse of its true power, and even that was more than enough for us. Hey, are you guys gonna be my trust companions? So your mind is set. Then I shall apprise you of the situation. Alright. We have discovered that the previously abandoned Ultima Weapon Project is being helmed by the reformed 7th Legion. They have already succeeded in producing enough 
producing several prototypes, one of which is set to be deployed on the Azorzean front. Its name, the Ruby Weapon. Severa and I were able to get within striking distance during one of its test runs and made an attempt to destroy it. An attempt that ended in failure, alas. Based on our knowledge of the original Ultima weapon, the explosive we employed should have been sufficient to blast through its armor plating, but they barely left a mark. We suspect the gifts of our predecessor may have proven the source of its resilience. As you well know, the Ultima weapon was designed to absorb ether from icons, and the ruby weapon no doubt shares that ability. If any were summoned during the uprisings in Garlemald's occupied territories, and thereafter consumed, our enemy would become all the more formidable. But its near-impenetrable armor was only the beginning of our troubles. It fought back with whip-like claws that can be extended and contracted at will. In the face of such opposition, we were forced to withdraw. Gaius was injured, shielding me from the ruby weapon's assault. Even now, he struggles to stand. Damn it all, if I hadn't been so careless, this wouldn't have happened. You need not concern yourself. Let us not forget that I am the one who initiated the Ultima Weapon Project. If I must give my life to bury this shameful legacy, then so be it. If you were to face it as you are now, you'd be cut down before you even hobbled within firing, dif dif firing distance. In any case, we can't afford to lose the information in your head on both the foe we face and the Empire itself. We all know that asking for Tiov's assistance presents us our best chance of stopping that war, ma war machina. Tis true that if anyone were capable of putting down such a monstrosity, it would, we would, it would be her. Ugh. I'm having trouble speaking him. It's so hard for me to stand up because of my wound, I can't barely even speak the words. Though I have no right to ask this of you, will you lend us your strength? Mm, let me think a minute. Mm, I'm not one to back down from a fight. Leave it to me! Meow, 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 meow. You have my thanks. And mind, though I must impress upon you the urgency of our situation, we have received word that the Empire is preparing to advance on the Gimlet Dark. That is where we will intercept them. If our fears are proven correct, the Ruby Weapon will be amongst their host. Should it break through our lines, there is no telling the devastation it will wreak. Make no mistake, the very survival of Eorzea hangs in the balance. Once you have steeled yourself for the battle ahead, your escort will lead the way. That's that guy over there. Alright. I'm ready. No, I'm not ready at all. I don't think this is a trust dungeon. What price must the world pay for my hubris? A short while earlier in the Garlean occupied city of Wurlitz Magitech installation. Commencing Ruby Weapon Activation Sequence, all units stand by. Oh, that thing looks creepy. Initiating Synthetic Aurasite System. Fusion successful. No signs of incompatibility. Awaiting your signal. Ruby Weapon. Code name Darnus. Ready for launch. Gutsy female voice. <laughs> Very creepy. What? What is this? Is this a dungeon? Is it a trial? What exactly is this that I'm doing? 
Not only are the ruby weapon's claws as quick as lightning, they move with an uncanny degree of flexibility and can strike from where you least expect it. Though I will not be able to join the battle with the ruby weapon, I have been tasked with keeping an escape route back to the Eorzean front clear, should you need to make a hasty retreat. Given all we've come to expect from the Asians, it wouldn't surprise me if they were behind the summoning of whatever primals the ruby weapon has absorbed. Oh, oh man. Okay, resistance escort. Voldolin has briefed me on our mission. I am to take you as far as our expected point of contact with the ruby weapon. Once we arrive, the rest is up to you, I'm afraid. Cinder Drift is now accessible. And the Duty Finder has been updated. What is the Cinder Drift? Is it a trial? It's a trial. It's a level 80 trial that requires item level 455. Wow. We got a ways to go on that. Well, it turns out Gaia, Severa, and Valdolin. It turns out I can't help you after all. It's been fun, but I I cannot assist you in this endeavor. And so we travel back to the Alamegan Quarter. I feel like you guys have that under control. I'll just leave that to the rest of the Warriors of Light on this server. They can handle that, I'm sure. Uh, where is this? Uh, this goes. This wall goes up forever. Wait a second. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I'm trying to find this spot here. So we go this way. We go back inside. I was going to say, I didn't think it was outside. I went the wrong way. It's over here somewhere. There it is. Cryl. Hey. Hey, it turns out I'm going to go save the the Archons and the Scions of the Seventh Dawn after all. The other thing's just too hard. The way home. Kryl can see the steely resolve in your eyes and suspects she knows to where duty calls you. I take it you're ready to return to the first. Then I would ask you... Then I would ask that you apprise the others of recent events here in the Source, namely Xenos's return and the development of a new Ultima weapon. As for their bodies, you may assure them Master Matoya and I will continue doing what we can to keep their corporeal ether stable. Safe travels, Tioff. I hope to see you and the other Scions soon. Bye. <laughs> Speak with the Crystal Exarch in the Ocular. Okay. Do we have to do them both? I'm kind of confused what the game is trying to tell me here. Should I do this? Trial? Maybe I should just jump into this trial and do it. Oh, I can't because I don't have the item level. Well, that stinks. So I guess... I mean, even if I wanted to do it, which I don't particularly, I can't do it. So I have to... I have to go to the Exarch. Regardless of my personal desires as a player of this game. Apparently, I didn't spend enough time leveling up. I was thinking that, oh, this is probably enough 
gear to get through the rest of this story. But uh, it's probably not going to be even close to enough gear. I'm going to have to go through alliance raids and farm tombstones and God only knows what. Maybe I can just make it through this patch. And then I guess I'll start on the farming thing. Oh wow, this is not even a... This is not even a, a quest. It's just pointing me back here. You've come at a most opportune time, my friend. I've made something of a breakthrough in my research on the soul and a means to return the Scions home. I trust you too have been making good use of your time. Meow, 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 meow. Ill tidings from the source, you say? Then I will summon the others that we might all be apprised of the situation. Good thinking. Now that we are all here, what news from the source? Well, lots of stuff going on back there. Meow 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 Ultima weapon meow 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 Gaius meow 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 Astinian meow 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 Flamon meow 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 Ultima weapon. We must count ourselves lucky that Gaius has pledged his assistance. While this is indeed a worrying development, I think the state of the Empire as a whole greater grounds for concern. With the Emperor slain and Xenos returned, it is impossible to predict how matters will unfold in Garlemald. The Ultima weapon may be but the first of many unpleasant surprises. The situation beareth closer observation. Of that there is no doubt and doth compound our need to return unto the Source. Then let us address that issue. Our long search for a means to see you safely home may well be nearing its conclusion. Thanks in large part to Urianje and Beklug's invaluable insight, we have succeeded in fashioning a vessel for the journey. We set out to create a crystalline container retaining the more useful properties of white aurasite, but without its regrettable limitations. And, after a good deal of trial and error, we made one. An arc for soul and mind both that will allow your incorporeal self in its entirety to be ferried between worlds. A spirit vessel, if you will. However... However? Though the vessel is possessed of the requisite qualities to hold mind and memory, it wanteth yet for a means to receive of them. For that, we must needs imbue it with the Exarch's innate gift. A gift that lives on only through the blood of the Allegan Emperors, which certainly does not flow within Aurasite or any other crystal. Just so, milady. The blood serveth as a conduit of sorts. In its absence, memory cannot pass from mind unto mind, nor from flesh unto crystal. Just pour some of his blood on it. That being the case, we must either alter the process of inheritance so as to require no such thing, or determine a means by which my blood may permeate the vessel. Try smushing your hand into it. I am hopeful that the records found within this tower will yield the knowledge we require to pursue one or the other of these avenues. As well you should be. The Allegan's body of etherological research is extraordinary. I can scarce believe it the work of ages past. But its underlying principles are not so very different from those of my own field of study. 
Given time, we will find the answers we seek. I know that you can ill afford to wait, and it pains me that I must ask you to do so. I can only reaffirm my promise to you that a solution will be found. Whatever it takes, I will see you safely home. My apologies. Lena. I do hope you haven't come to tell us that mortal peril fast approaches. No. I had hoped to speak with the Warrior of Darkness. But there is no need to cut short your meeting on my account. I will be waiting outside. Why not speak in here? She knows I don't mind. Unless... she didn't want to. She has secrets. She's hiding secrets from you, Crystal Exarch. Perhaps I might accompany you. Though I am woefully ill-qualified to assist in the Exarch's research, I may yet be of some use to Lena. The way home. We're done. It may simply be my imagination, but Lena has been rather brusque with me of late. You don't suppose she's still upset over that mishap with the salmon fillet, do you? Never have I seen such a repository of knowledge, a stark reminder of what little we truly know of the world. Upon white orosite's crystalline foundation, we have built not a prison, but a refuge for the soul. Would that Munbrida were here to see the wonders inspired by her research. Ah, oh, call back. Munbrida's dead now. To think we will not have... To think we will not only have Xenos to contend with once we return, but a new Ultima weapon as well. Uh, why must all of our enemies insist on returning from their graves? That's an excellent question, Ishtola. Very excellent question. Hey, I just noticed that uh, Alizé is not here. Which reminds me... Let's go check in on her at the inn at Journey's Head. Because I happen to know that she's here, because I came through here a while ago. She's still here working with Hal... Halric. Hmm? Why did my... Why did I name my familiar Angelo? It was the name of our pet dog, long, long ago. Alphino wanted to name it after some supposedly important figure in a book no one had ever heard of. Quite the fight that was, but in the end, I won. Huh. Ne neck uh... Halric, you're almost saying Nectarine? Is that what you're almost saying? Well, interesting. Well, uh, we will continue later on with the next quest. <laughs>